Hey YouTube, if you follow my channel, you'll know that I like to shoot infrared photos. I've recently got a hold of a camera that allows me to shoot with face detection autofocus, and this caused a couple issues I wasn't expecting. In this video, I'm going to show you why these issues occurred and how I managed to work around them. When the squares in the viewfinder turn green, this is the camera indicating that it is locked on using phase detection autofocus. You'll notice though that in the preview, the image is blurry. It's not actually in focus, but the camera is indicating that it's locked on. This is a little unusual because if you do some reading online, most people will say that phase detection autofocus is better than contrast detection autofocus. So what's going on here? On my cameras, I'm using an adapter that allows me to mount old Minolta A-mount lenses onto the newer Sony NEX series. This adapter has a built-in phase detection autofocus system that uses a translucent mirror. This is a mirror that allows most of the light to pass through, but redirects some of it downwards into that small rectangular aperture which houses the phase detection autofocus system. To understand why this system has a problem with infrared photography, we're going to have to take a little look at how phase detection autofocus systems are set up. The most basic camera possible would have a single lens and an image sensor of some type, whether it be a chemically active film or a digital sensor like those in my camera. When an image is in focus, light from a single point in the real world passes through the lens and converges to a single point on the sensor. This makes a sharp in focus image. An out of focus image occurs when light from a single point out in real space converges before or after the sensor. This causes to become blurred in the final image. With my contrast detection autofocus system, that semi-transparent mirror bounces some of the light downwards into the lower sensor. That sensor is the same distance if you were to measure the path of a beam of light from the lens as is the sensor that takes the final image. An image that is out of focus on the image sensor is equally out of focus on the phase detection sensor. This phase detection sensor can tell whether the image is focused behind the sensor or ahead of it, and this information can be used to adjust the focus of the lens. All lenses suffer from something called chromatic aberration. This is due to the fact that the refractive index for glass is different depending on the wavelength of light. You will see chromatic aberration in a lens when you notice color fringing, whether it's blue or purple fringing, on small objects near the corners of the image. Chromatic aberration doesn't stop just with the visible spectrum. Chromatic aberration also extends to the infrared spectrum, as infrared light is bent even less than normal red light as it passes through a camera's lens. This chromatic aberration is the source of my focusing problem. The face detection autofocus sensor is meant to operate in the visible spectrum, probably somewhere around the green as it's in the middle of the spectrum that we can see. The infrared light that my camera detects is focusing well behind the image sensor due to chromatic aberration. Even though the phase detection autofocus system is functioning and the green light is focused on the plane of the sensor, the infrared light, which I want to capture, is focused too far behind. Lens manufacturers used to take this into account by adding a small red dot to the focus window. You can see this little red dot that's just off center. This is where you would focus the lens if you were using the numbers indicated on the lens when shooting infrared film. However, because I have this digital camera and Sony has an option for adjusting the focus on this adapter, I was able to change this in software allowing me to get reasonably good focus without having to open up and modify my lens adapter. The simplest physical modification would have been to put a little bit of space in between the adapter and the camera. Just enough that the infrared light would be in focus while the green light would be converging ahead of the sensor. This would give me a more reasonable focus if I didn't have the software option. Although the focus is not 100% perfect, it is much more usable. By taking images with a slightly closed down aperture, the results are much more usable, as seen in these before and after pictures. 
I hope you found this video interesting, and if you're an infrared photographer, I hope this helped you in diagnosing any autofocus issues you might have. Thanks for watching.